Welcome to Niger Uncle News. In today's news, Funke Akindeles, a tribe called Judah, reflects challenges of less privileged Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 general election. Peter Obi has stated that actress Funke Akindeles new movie, A Tribe Called Judah, reflected the challenges facing the less privileged in Nigeria. Obi stated this on Saturday in a statement shared on his ex handle. Niger Anchor News reports that a tribe called Judah became the first Nollywood film to surpass 1 billion at the box office. Reacting to the development, Peter Obi said, It is heartwarming to learn that a tribe called Judah, a movie by Funke Aikendele, has achieved a record breaking any 1 billion era in just three weeks of its release towards making a historic moment in our Nigerian movie industry. I congratulate Funke Akindele for achieving this feat, which is a bold statement for her passion, hard work, and dedication in the movie industry. The latest movie touches on some of the complex challenges faced by the less privileged families in Nigeria in their struggles for survival. It skillfully tells a story that appeals to its audience in a comic and entertaining delivery. And now, let's take a break and check today in history. Please stay tuned as we will come back to the news shortly. 2007, Nigeria conducted its presidential election. Umaru Musa Yaradua emerged as the winner, but the election was marred by controversy and allegation of irregularities. 1888, Samuel Morse and Alfred Vai demonstrated the telegraph for the first time in Morristown, New Jersey. The demonstration marked a significant step in the development of long-distance communication. 1912, New Mexico became the first seventh state of the United States. This event marked an important addition to the country's territories. 1994, the CFF francs, the currency used by several West African countries, was devalued. This decision aimed to stimulate economic growth but was faced with criticism and had various economic implications for the region. 1973, the Miami Dolphins, led by coach Don Shula, defeated the Washington Redskins 14-7 in Super Bowl 7. The victory marked Dolphins' perfect season as they finished the year with no losses, a fit on match in the National Football League. Thank you for being a part of Niger Uncle News today. Join us again soon for more. Stay informed, stay connected.